Good morning to uh, GWA Physics, and this morning I'd like to talk a little bit about mechanical power. Yesterday we did a lesson on mechanical power, and one of the things that we learned was that power is going to be used, the letter we're going to use for that, the, the abbreviation is the letter P, and the units for power are going to be watts. Those are the metric units for power. Now there's several different formulas that work here and they are interchangeable so it just depends on what's given as to what needs to be used. But power is going to be equal to the work done divided by the time it takes to do that work. Now, it also can be, the power could be equal to the change in energy over a given amount of time. And especially, you should be able to see that because when we do work on an object by raising it, we also are changing its potential energy from one place to another. So that change in potential energy would be equal to the work done. And, I, and we could also make the assumption that the change in energy going from left to right would also be a way of solving for power. But then we have a third formula that says that the power is equal to the force exerted times the velocity. And some people say, well, how did you get this formula? Well, when you look back up here at the top, the work done is equal to the force times the distance divided by the time. Well, you should be able to see right here that distance divided by time is velocity. So we can rewrite that formula as the force times the velocity of the object will also help us to determine the power. Now, let's look at a problem right quick and see if this will help. Suppose that you had, this is the side of somebody's house and they had a garage door, okay? So here's the garage door and there's the handle and there's a, there's a little latch that you, that's right there in the center and, Here's some lines in here to show how the garage door uh, looks. But let's, let's add some numbers in here. Let's say that the garage door has a mass of 300 kilograms, okay? And the motor that's on the inside is gonna lift that garage door in a time of four seconds, okay? And then the last thing that we need is the distance that it travels, okay? So let's say that the opening of the door right here is 2.5 meters, okay? So the distance equals 2.5 meters. So when we see that kind of information, we look at those equations, and I'm going to suggest that we use the first equation. So, the work done, let me erase some of this other stuff so you have some room to work. The work done is going to be the, fo the force times the distance over the time. Well, the garage door has a mass of 300 kilograms, so the force we're going to need is 3,000 newtons to raise that door. And the distance it's going to be raised is 2.5 meters right there. And the time is going to be 4 seconds. So let's plug those numbers in right quick and let's see what we get. We've got 3,000 times 
is going to be 7,500 Newton meters divided by 4. We're going to divide by 4, and that gives me 1,875 watts. So that would be the power that the electric motor on that garage door opener would have to lift that garage door off the ground and open the garage door. Now, if you have any questions, see me. Thank you for watching.